Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions, and I'm John, your host of episode number 138, Why Halogen Bulbs Fail and How to Prolong Their Life. There are three primary reasons that halogens fail. Looking at the first two fixtures, you can see they are mounted in a contorted fashion. One thing a halogen won't tolerate is a tilt of more than 30 degrees. Actually, they are recommended to be mounted flat, but a little tilt will not cause failure. The second cause of failure is that during an installation, the porcelain end is handled too roughly. These bulbs are extremely fragile and must be installed with great care. In the third picture, you see a burnt light that is well within the tilt limit. In total, I replaced eight bulbs that had been replaced less than a week before. Let's take a closer look at these bulbs and determine the main cause of failure. On every single one of these bulbs, you will see a fingerprint. Three of them obviously failed because of the porcelain, but there you have it, a fingerprint. This is an extremely obvious fingerprint, as you can see. It's uh, clearly defined right there. The FBI could probably track down the electrician with this one. Moving on, there's a fingerprint. There's a fingerprint right there. I'm sure you can see it. You know, I, I've shown you enough fingerprints for you to understand the importance of not touching these with human hands. That's why you wear gloves. Assuming that you're wearing a pair of either nitrile gloves or latex gloves, you're going to have to be very careful when you install them. All halogen bulbs have a little knob here. That knob is so that you have traction on the bulb when you go to install it. The proper way of handling these is to have your finger on either side of the bulb. So if you're pushing into the spring in this direction, obviously you want it on that side. Or if the spring is on the other direction, you have it on this side. These bulbs are mounted between two knobs. One is flexible, one is fixed. If you try to push in on the fixed portion, this is what you're going to end up with. First of all, determine which end is flexible. You then take your bulb with a gloved hand and make sure it's in there. Push in and once you clear the other knob, you just let it in there nice and gently. Now once it's installed, very gently roll the bulb. And what that does is it removes any oxidation between the two contacts. One last item. If you're replacing bulbs in a very high place, you might want to take the added precaution of cleaning the bulb with alcohol and tissue paper just to be sure that no body oils contaminated the bulb. Once the bulbs are installed, test them and let them burn for at least 20 minutes. Quick on and off cycles are harmful to the filaments. That's really about all I can tell you about halogen. But if you follow my instructions, you should get at least a year or more out of your bulb. Thanks for watching and have a great day.